Hi everyone, this is Ryan and today I'm going to talk about the four things you need to do before you start trading. Okay, so I know a lot of you are excited to be trading or already trading, right? But uh, today I just want to cover four things that you need to do before you actually start your trading, right? Whether is it every trade or on a daily basis. Okay, so what's the first thing? The first thing that you need to look for is the currency pair, right? Are you trading or are you looking at the chart? Are you looking at the correct chart, right? The correct currency pair, right? So for example, maybe you want to trade Euro, US dollar, but uh, you're looking at the dollar yen chart instead, all right? So very important, check the currency pair is correct. The second thing, the time frame, all right? The time frame is very important as well, right? So don't be looking at the wrong time frame. So for example, the strategy you're trading is a, a H1 strategy, right? So you should be looking at H1 chart and not M15 or H4 or M5 or make sure that the time frame is correct, all right? And the third thing you need to do before you start trading is calculate your stop loss, right? I always feel that you need to know what your stop loss is before you even start trading, right? You need to calculate where is your stop loss going to be or you need to know where your stop loss is going to be before you place the trade, right? If you have to calculate the stop loss after you place the trade, then that's dangerous, right? Because it comes to the, because uh, we'll be coming to the fourth point where you need to know uh, you need to calculate your lot size all right you need to calculate your lot size so if you don't know your stop loss you can't calculate your lot size all right if you put in a lot size before you even know the stop loss then you could end up with a bigger risk or bigger loss than what you had planned for all right so these are the four most important things you need to do before you start trading the first one check the currency pair right check there is the correct currency pair the second one, check your time frame. Make sure your time frame is correct. The third one, calculate your stop loss. And finally, calculate your lot size. All right. So I'll, uh, I, I hope you gain uh, knowledge today. Right. I hope you found this video useful. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye bye.